get some of that out. You know, and you don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to do anything against the law, but at the same time, nothing wrong with banging your head in your room or just, you know, expressing yourself or getting it out through, through that, that, that way. It's therapy. You know, it's great therapy. <laughs> A lot of kids must have needed therapy because Skid Row conquered the charts in the early 90s and uh, the attitude of the music had a lot to do with it. And that all stems from the personality of their former fearless leader. Sebastian Bach busted at number 8 on the Top 40 Badass Countdown. He's a hair metal messiah and a public pariah who was crazy enough to take on the world's worst terrorist. Give Sebastian Bach a stage and a microphone and then stand back. It's just like an adrenaline rush. It's like a lightning, you know, bolt going right down your back. You know, you just get out there and go, Hurrah! I saw Skid Row open for Aerosmith. And it was the day America bombed Libya. And Sebastian went into this raging, fierce diatribe. Muammar Gaddafi, he gets ass on stage and you can get a piece of me. And he just went off. Sebastian sounded the rallying cry of a generation desperate to party. He was the epitome of the youth gone wild. I mean, he had it tattooed on his arm. And that's what rock and roll is all about. It's just that big middle finger to the world. He's a bad, bad boy. But he's trying to be good. I don't wake up every day and go, how can I be bad? I go, how can I be good? You know, <laughs> and it never works. <laughs> Sebastian Bach is damn right obnoxious. And, uh, and I mean that in the highest Form. I think if Baz was 100% sober and only drank decaf, he would still be Sebastian Bach and be an obnoxious, wiry guy. I drove down to his house and he's standing out in the road holding a tree trunk like a strong man. And he's like, Wah! You know, like, like a wild man, like Tarzan. And Sebastian just, he's just psycho. Yeah.